we're here on the north shore of Mizzen Head, the southernmost of the major peninsulas that stick out into the Atlantic in Southwest Ireland. And we're looking across Dunmanus Bay to Sheep's Head on the far side. As I was saying earlier, the, uh, there are two series of, of rocks in this area. There's the uh, Devonian series, which are deposited in or were deposited in, in uh, desert conditions, and the overlying uh, carboniferous rocks, which were marine. The, the sea came in from the south and submerged the desert landscape and we had a great thickness of, of marine rocks deposited. So these two big uh, series of rocks were then at the end of the Carboniferous uh, about 300 million years ago they were crumpled up as two of the Earth's plates moved together. They, these rocks were folded in very large folds and we see these folds today because along this mizzen head and along the sheep's head there are these large upfolds which uh, geologists call anticlines but with the upfolds from which the younger carboniferous rocks have been worn away so we see along these peninsulas the reddish really purplish rocks of the uh, old red sandstone of the Devonian and in the bays are the greyish marine rocks of the Carboniferous so that along the inner parts of the bays all the rocks along the coastline that we see are grey Carboniferous rocks and the big ridges along the top are the red rocks of the um, uh, Devonian. Well, we're here um, near the end of Mizzen Head, which is the most southwesterly of the peninsulas that jut out into the Atlantic. And the rocks here are all belonging to the Devonian period, although they're not very red. They're slightly red and quite a few green beds as well. The the main folds that make these peninsulas, although they're very large folds, they have on their flanks many, many smaller folds. And we see these quite well displayed further out as we move out towards the uh, lighthouse here. Well, these are the desert sandstones of the uh, Devonian. With the eye of faith, you can see they're very slightly purpley-gray here, whereas higher up, they are more greeny-gray. And that's quite normal uh, in this sequence um, in Southwest Ireland. And this is the bedding plain, which originally would have been horizontal when the beds were laid down, and has been folded at the end of the Carboniferous time and now is part of a series of little wrinkly folds on the back of the main fold that forms the Mizzen Peninsula. Well here we're looking down across a small gorge which has a bridge over it um, before you get out to the lighthouse and a fracture in the rock along here, a large joint or a small fault, has been eroded out. Because it was open and available, the sea has gradually worn out and made virtually an island of the uh, end of the peninsula here with the, with the lighthouse uh, on it. And the rocks here are very much folded, but we'll get a clearer view of that when we're out at the lighthouse. But they, they vary in, in their dip greatly from one place to another as we walk along here. On the front of the G.S. Ice memoir is taken from here looking out this way. 